In this episode, I'm gonna take an even closer look at eugenics and its movement in the United States. So what's eugenics? Eugenics is the study of methods to improve the mental and physical characteristics of the human race by choosing who may become parents. This set of beliefs and practices which aims at improving the genetic quality of the human population played a significant role in the history and culture of the United States from the late 19th century until the U.S. involvement in World War II. The American eugenics movement was rooted in the biological determinist ideas of the British scientist Sir Francis Galton. He believed that an individual's genes or some component of their physiology directly controlled their human behavior. In 1883, Galton first used the word eugenics to describe the biological improvement of human genes and the concept of being well-born. He believed that genetics primarily determined the differences in people's abilities and that eugenicists could implement eugenics through selective breeding in order for the human race to improve in its overall quality, therefore allowing for humans to direct their own evolution. Henry Goddard was also a eugenicist. In 1908, he published his own version of the Simon Binet IQ test. He called his version the Binet and Simon test of intellectual capacity and cordially promoted the test. He quickly extended the use of the scale to public schools in 1913, to immigration in 1914, and to a court of law in 1914. Unlike Galton, though, who promoted eugenics through selective breeding for positive traits, Goddard went with the U.S. eugenics movement to eliminate undesirable traits. Goddard used the term feeble-minded to refer to people who didn't perform well on the IQ test. He argued that heredity caused feeble-mindedness. And that's why he found that the government should prevent feeble-minded people from giving birth, either by institutional isolation or sterilization surgeries. First, sterilization targeted the disabled, but was later extended to poor people. American eugenicists endorsed Goddard's intelligence test, and they pushed for laws for forced sterilization. Different U.S. states adopted the sterilization laws at different pace. These laws, which the Supreme Court upheld in their 1927 ruling Buck v. Bell, forced over 64,000 people to go through sterilization in the United States. California's sterilization program, for example, was so effective that the Nazis turned to the government for advice on how to prevent the birth of the unfit. While the U.S. eugenics movement lost much of its momentum in the 1940s in view of the horrors of Nazi Germany, Advocates of eugenics, including Nazi genesis Ottmar Feiher von Verschur, continue to work and promote their ideas in the United States. In later decades, some eugenic principles made a resurgence as a voluntary means of selective reproduction, with some calling them new eugenics. Now, as it becomes possible to test for and correlate genes with IQ, ethicists and embryonic genetic testing companies are attempting to understand the ways in which we can deploy the technology ethically. This information came from these websites. You'll find these links below this video. 
Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch this series from the start. Next Friday, I'll be back with a new episode in my series on intellectual giftedness. Till then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and bye y'all!